All right, we've done Alurus, so now Alurus gets to move over because we're going to have a closer look at Ubuntu Tweak today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, I've got my cup of coffee. Let's rock on this thing. Okay. Ubuntu Tweak's a neat little utility, much like Alurus that I showed you guys yesterday. That will allow you to tweak a number of things on your Ubuntu-based operating system. Now, uh, of course, I'm running a uh, derivative of Ubuntu. Uh, I'm running Pinguy OS. If you haven't tried Pinguy OS, it's Ubuntu on steroids. You've got to try it. It kicks ace, let me tell you. Okay, let's uh, look at Ubuntu Tweak here. Uh, we have a welcome message here that tells us all the things we can do. We can tweak otherwise hidden settings, clean up unused packages, and free up disk space, just like we can do in Alurus. Easily clean up-to-date versions of many applications or easily install up-to-date versions of many applications, configure file templates, shortcut strips for easy access to common tasks, and many other useful features. Now, uh, of course, we have an application center, just like Alurus does, has a number of things that you might want to check out, and these are top-rated items. Okay, and then we have a package cleaner. I uh, ran this in Alurus yesterday, which uh, allowed me to clean unused configuration files. And it also allows you to remove old kernels or uh, any, other, any other clutter that's taking up hard drive space. This is where you want to do that. And then, of course, just like Alurus, we have a source center. Okay, and uh, yeah, we can update our data here. But what we can do is we can uh, update our sources. I like the way it lays this out. Now, uh, when you have a bunch of PPAs and that sort of thing installed, it t this I like how this tells you that there are new builds of uh, programs that are available. I, I really like the way this is laid out here. Then, of course, we have our source editor where we can unlock and we can add new sources. Next, we have an update manager. And it's telling us that we have some... Ooh, I'll have to do that later. I want to update Zorg on this thing. But we have a number of packages that we can go ahead and update as well. Even though my update, uh, my, um, update center up here is saying everything that I have installed is up to date, there are some other things here. Okay, and then we have control over our login settings. I showed this in a previous, I showed this in a, a previous uh, episode on Pinguy OS. Uh, this is pretty cool because you can change your uh, your logo on the screen, and of course you can change your wallpaper. We also have a session control. In this, we can define um, what is uh, necessary, such as our file manager, which is Nautilus. In a previous episode, I uh, described instead of using instead of using um, instead of using the genome panel, we switch this to the Avant Window Navigator, and then of course, as Compez is our window manager. Moving right along, this has something that Alurus doesn't. It allows you to do some additional tweaks to Compiz. And as you can see here, I have some corners selected for uh, different tasks, such as showing windows and showing uh, workspaces. We can evil even enable snapping windows. You can see I have some of these items checked, but not all of them. Okay, and then from here, we can decide whether we want to have desktop icons showing. I actually uncheck. I don't like to have icons on my desktop, unless, of course, I'm using my desktop as a temporary working directory. But you can actually set this up to show and hide the different icons, and you can see that the icons are appearing. Then we have desktop, a re desktop recovery application which will allow, you can use this to uh, reset the system default settings. Interesting. 
we have genome settings here. And just simple little things like display a warning when removing panels, uh, enabling panel animations, complete lockdown of all panels, and individual menu settings, screensaver, terminal, and history. Then of course we have the window manager settings and you can actually arrange buttons on the title bar by dragging and dropping as you can see here. And then we have mouse wheel actions as well. For instance, if we double click the title bar, it will maximize just like it does in Windows. I like that effect and so you can give your Linux desktop experience a Windows feel if you want. Okay, moving right along. Then we have the default folder locations and you can manage these any way that you wish. You can manage different scripts that are installed on your system. Manage templates that are available such as the right click context menu. You have shortcut commands that you can issue and I showed you in the Compiz Config setting manager that you can manage those items as well in there. Well this is another location with which to, to which with which to uh, manage these. With my luck if I were to mess mess up mess with them my computer would blow up. Okay and then we have further information such as our computer details. Not quite a as detailed of a listing as Alurus does it. And then we have the file type manager and here you can specify which programs are going to run different types of applications. I like the way this is laid out. It makes it easier for uh, picking and choosing which programs you wish to use. Then of course we have Nautilus settings and in here you can uh, you can do some additional tweaks with it. You can define the icon size. You can uh, the maximal, maximum uh, thumbnail cache size or the little images that the system generates for all of your videos, your pictures, that sort of thing. You can specify how much space it's going to use and uh, how long that thumbnail cache stays in your system. Uh, you can also uh, by having these extensions, and I select all of them because I think this is great, I use these, such as opening the folder in a terminal, uh, opening the folder with root privileges, or uh, Nautilus with wallpaper, and I have that set up right now. I think it's really cool that uh, we uh, have that ability, and now I can right click on a folder and open that as administrator if I want to, after typing in a password. Then you will see that in a moment here, if I type my password incorrectly, there it is. Now you can see that I am using a root window and it gives me a little warning to remind me that I am in root and I can potentially mess up my system. So, but that's okay. Linux automatically assumes you know what you're doing. And if you have root privileges, make sure that you do know what you're doing there. Okay, and then we have a power manager. Uh, I like this as well. We can lock the screen on hibernate, lock the screen on suspend, enable lock screen, and blank, blank activates. And uh, all kinds of cool little tweaks. This is handy for me too because my computer is a laptop computer. So I naturally want to have uh, the... Uh, now... Uh, now I have my uh, computer hooked up to a high definition television so I actually have the monitor shut completely off when uh, when I have it hooked up to the TV so I I just have it turned all the way down even when it's plugged in okay and then we have some security related things here we can disable run application dialog uh, and actually I'm gonna enable that because I don't even use it if I want to run something I use the Cardapio menu and I just type that in here. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. You can disable locking the screen. Mm, I need that because uh, I have people running around here and 
It's always good to have the computer locked up. You can disable printing, disable printer settings, disable save to disk. You can disable fast user switching. So as you can see here, there are a number of tweaks. This does some things that Alurus doesn't do, and of course, Alurus does some things that Genome, I mean, that uh, Ubuntu tweak doesn't do. So having them both um, can be a benefit to you. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter so you can stay up to date on all the uh, latest and greatest things that's coming out of Spatry's Cup of Linux. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again later. I'll have some other videos uh, I'll be uh, chopping up uh, in a while. Have a great day.